I love it. It's probably the best the classical I've ever had. Hi, today I'm reviewing the EC132SC, which is a Takamine classical electric guitar, and I'm going to describe to you how I've used it in the last couple of years or so that I've owned it. About the specifics of the guitar, I uh, will just say briefly, you know, what's going on with what here. It's obviously black, although when you hold it up to the light, uh, it's got a solid cedar top. You can actually see the grain, and it's actually very tight. It's a solid rosewood bottom and a rosewood sides. And the neck is mahogany and the rosewood uh, also on the fretboard. And um... so I'll tell you how I've used it. Mainly uh, because I have Godin guitars that I use a lot, nylon strings, and they are thin air and they're chambered and uh, they uh, are great for live use because I do a lot of performing live when I play with a piano player. I never tried this one. This is a little bit more of an acoustic feel. It's got a wider neck. I think it's a two, what is it, two inch? So I've used this for recording uh, acoustic stuff um, just with videos, like teaching songs. teach songs and I wouldn't plug it in. This has, a, it's called palathetic system they call it. It has a tuner, it has EQing, program it, maybe have a couple of different programs for different uh, EQ levels or just do it manually. This little battery thingy plastic door that opens here has a, a space for two AA batteries. Apparently this whole unit, if something, if it ever did die on you or something, the whole thing just pops out and you can replace it with another unit. Although they may be getting hard to find. This is 2003, this was built. And did I mention uh, how I know it's 2003? Takamines have eight digit serial numbers and the first two digits tell the year and this is 03, so it's 2003. Yeah, I use it mostly just like an unplugged guitar. I haven't even plugged it in much. I brought it to one show, but to be frank, I didn't feel so comfortable bringing this to a club. This is kind of a fine instrument. You don't want to just uh, throw it around in your car. You want to take good care of it. And I had lots of other equipment too, right? So you're piling up the equipment. It didn't make me so comfortable to bring it to a show, with people walking around with beer and stuff. Like I say, I do a lot of uh, flamenco-y kind of stuff or, you know, um, not traditional jazz stuff. I do more like Latin-y inspired jazz and Aldi Miola kind of inspired stuff. Uh, so I, have, I haven't really used this for a lot of that. This is much more, I would say, better for just traditional kind of classical kind of things. The intonation's great. The access is very nice because of the cutaway here. Uh, it projects really nice. It feels beautiful in my hands. Um, the uh, the quality is wonderful on this thing. It's built so solidly and well. And um, there is room for improvement, though, uh, for the action. Even though it is quite low, and I've been just fine with the action. Um, if I wanted to get picky, I could definitely say I wanted to sand down the the bridge nut here, sand that down, lower it a bit. It has a dual action truss rod. I don't know how the dual part of it works, but it, it does have a dual according to the website. Uh, you can see the truss rod, truss rod's right under there, under there. So I've been thrilled to have it, and it's a beautiful guitar. This white parts, the binding is kind of yellowing, and I guess that happens. It's, you know, getting to 20 years, and uh, that uh, it's not ugly, it's just, uh, just the way it goes, I guess. Maybe there's a way you can whiten it up, I don't know. Stays in tune, tuners are really nice. Uh, you have to polish it a lot. Definitely uh, invest in a bottle of polish, which I have to do. I've been too cheap to bother buying that, but I'm realizing now I've got more and more guitars. I have to have polish. Not enough just to go, <gasps> you really need polish. You've got a bunch of guitars. It's a wonderful guitar. It's, um, I recommend it for anyone. If you come across one of these used, go for it, buy it. You'll, you won't be disappointed. 
So that's uh, my review for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Guitar equals happy. Bye.